So, what do you also need to know? And usually I do this first. Um, you also need to know how to set up an event on your website. This is where you're going to get the shopping link to post in your Facebook events or on your paperwork to your hostesses on how people can order online directly through their party. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your website. You're going to click see my cursor up here. Click on my account. Um, if you're logged in, this is what it looks like. If you're not, you need to log in. It'll give you the login. That is your email address and starts out with the last four of your social. Um, if you've changed the password, then use the password you have. Then over here on the left, you're going to go to add event. And here it's an e-show. Um, the only time you're going to need an e-fair is if you're doing a book fair for a school um, or a preschool. Uh, otherwise, it's always an e-show. Um, for the e-show, leave that start date right now. Do not worry about that start date. If you move it out further, then you're not going to be able to find your event because it's not going to show up yet. Um, it doesn't matter what that date says. The expiration date is the only one that matters. If you know your party is on, we've got September 3rd. If you know it's on the 3rd, then I usually put it a week later. Just because that gives us time, because if it expires, it's not going to show up in Order Pro when we go to close the party. So you want to make sure it's out further than your event. Um, then you tell it what name it is, um, Mary Jo Smith, whatever, on their name, and put in their at email address. Uh, the, the hostess's email address is imperative because then they see when someone orders under their party. You do not touch the tax exempt number. That's only if you're doing an e-fair and they're going to let the customers, um, the parents, uh, have no tax, sales tax. And then same with the disabled shipping, that is for e-shows or e-fairs as well. Um, so you don't need that as well. So you're going to leave those last two things blank. You stop at email and hit save. Once you hit save, it goes to this list. And this is all the shows that you have going on. And over here on the right hand side is your event link. You're going to copy and paste that link into your Facebook event. Or if you're not doing a Facebook event, that's the link you're going to give to the hostess in case she has somebody that lives out of state or whatever that wants to at least take a look at the books on um, whatever you use it for. But you need this shopping link. If they just go to your website and order, it's not going to go to that hostess and they're not going to get that credit and they're not going to get the free books associated with that order. Okay, um, that is all you need. Everything else is done. Um, again, you're going to need that shopping link in your Facebook event where I showed you on that uh, video. All right, thanks. Bye.